Welcome back to Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to sew this beautiful short booboo kaftan with slit at the front, as you can see. So to begin this tutorial, I'm making use of two and a half yards of crepe fabric. You can use chiffon, you can use silk, you can use... Um, any light fabric of your choice. So these two and a half yards, I'm going to open it up. So here is the yardage part. You can see the yardage part. So the yard, yard is two and a half. So I'm going to pick up the two and a half on its end. As you can see, I'll fold it into two equal parts. So the two and a half yards is folded into two equal parts. So the folded Part, I'll also fold it back again so after folding it and arranging it I'll go ahead to split this into two equal parts because we are going to have um, a button at the front so I'll just go ahead and slit it so the back and the front is not going to be equal the front piece will have one inch seam allowance why the back will be unfold. So after splitting it open, this is what I have. So I'm going to arrange it the way it should be. So now I've arranged it, you can see the folded part which is for the back and the one inch part is for the front. So now I'm going to create my border line. That is my starting line. So from this starting line, we are going to take our measurements. So I'm taking three inches for my neck width for front and back. Then for back neckline is one inch. I'm going to connect one inch to the three inches. After that, I'm going to measure on the front neckline nine inches. That is the V neckline, nine inches. So from that center back, I will take my shoulder divide by two. From there, I have 8 inches, I'll come down by 1 inch for my shoulder slope. So I'm going to connect from the neckline my shoulder slope. I'm connecting it all the way to the sleeve length. So I'm taking my sleeve length as 26. From the center front, I'll measure 26 inches. So that is what I'm going to use, 26 inches. So... I will go ahead and mark the 26 inches. Then I'll place my tape on the border line once again. And I'm going to take the cow connection at 32 inches and the full length at 42 inches. So the full length of this gown is 42 inches and the cow connection is at 32 inches. So I'll just go ahead and mark my hip divide by 4 at 2.5 inch my hip is 46 divided by 4 is 11.5 plus 2.5 will give me 14. so i also transferred the 14 inches to the hem and connected it with a straight line as you can see so now we are going to form the cow connection so this cow connection is not actually supposed to be too high so I realized it was high. So after connecting, I came back to that 32 inches back and measured 5 inches. So just go up 5 inches so it's not too high. Then you go ahead and connect your cow like that. Okay. So I'm going to cut out what I connected right now. I'll just go ahead and cu uh, cut it out. So I'll cut it out from there into the side. I'll just go ahead and cut. Of course, you know how to cut your cow connection. So now I'll also proceed to the cutting of the shoulder line too. Okay. So, but before that, I'll cut out the hem piece. So just cut out everything. Then on the shoulder line, I'm going to add half an inch on the shoulder line. So I'll cut the both front and back, adding half an inch 
till I get to the neckline. So once I get to the neckline, I'm going to take off my pin and lift up the back neckline and cut out the one inch neckline. So after that, I've cut it out. So the sleeve is the next. So you just put your tape where you want the sleeve to be. I have 12 inches there. So I'm going to open my sleeve by six inches. So from that um, shoulder line, I'm going to measure six inches. So I'll mark six inches at that point and I'm going to put a slit or a mark to it. So I'll just put a notch to it. That is where I'm going to sew my sleeve. So next I'll come over to the neckline and I'm going to connect the V neckline connection from three inches to seven inches depth. I'll just go ahead and cut it out accordingly. So after cutting it out, next is to proceed to the I will first take it off, take the back off, okay, because we have one inch. Remember, we have one inch for the front. So I'll just slit the one inch to the end of the dress. So to create this slit right now, I'll come from the, I'll take off the back first, then we'll create the slit. So from the down part of this dress, I'm going to measure seven inches. So I will take seven and a half because I'm going to hem the down part of this dress. So I'll just place a notch to it. You place a notch to that point. So after notching it, I'll go over to the sewing machine now. I'm going to sew one one inch, one one inch, as you can see. So I'll go ahead and sew one one inch like that. So after sewing my one inch, I'm going to create my facing. So I place my fabric on fold and fold the one inch. Make sure you fold the one inch, okay? The seam allowance, fold it, secure with your pin, and then trim off your facing. So I just go ahead and secure with my pin and arrange it very well. Then I'll proceed to the cutting of the facing. So just go ahead and cut the facing as you can see. So after that, I'm going to shape in the facing too. So just go ahead and shape it the way you see me shape right now. So after shaping it, we are going to sew the facing to the dress. But then, please iron out the seam lines i'm going to iron it out so here i'm done ironing it then i'll place my facing the dress right side to right side of the facing and i'm going to stitch at 0 0.5 inch for the back facing i'll also place it on fold and repeat the same process i did for the front secure with my pin and trim the sides up off into the neckline as you can see i'll just trim it off then take away my pins and also shaping my facing so i'll just shaping the facing so after that i'm going to lay the facing right side to right side of the fabric and i'll proceed to sewing at 0 0.5 inch as well so after sewing it right now, next is to place notches on the neckline and flip it to the facing side and top stitch. I'll repeat the same for the front too. So for the front, just make a notch at that V line, okay? You can also make on the sides. Then I'll proceed to the top, stitch, top stitching too. So now the dress is ready. Next is to sew the sides of the cow calf tan so i'm going to place it right side of the dress to the back side too so we are going to sew the same shoulder line so i'll just place it you can see how i'm placing it just flip the facing like this and then go ahead to secure with your pin 
and go over to the sewing machine so i'm going to sew from that facing neckline till i get to the end of the dress so i just sew at 0 0.5 inch from the neckline to the end i'm going to repeat the same thing for the other side as well just put it together you can see how i'm putting it then you move ahead to sew at 0 0.5 inch okay so after sewing this is what we have so now i'm going to sew this side so i'll sew from the hem to where i have the notch on the sleeve so i'm sewing at 0 0.5 inch as well so i'm done sewing so you can see the sleeve opening right there so our dress is ready right now so i'm going to cut my sleeve so i cut my sleeve according to the circumference of my armhole calculated and the depth i have for the band is four inches you can also make it three inches if you want so i'm going to open up the sleeve right now and i'm going to sew the sleeve the band to the sleeve so this is what i have after sewing so the dress is ready ready right now so i'll go ahead to hem the down part of this dress so i will hem the down part of this dress right now hem the slit as well so you can use your stitches or you can use your hemming gum so here you can see what i have i gave it a good press so the dress is ready so if you want you can proceed to the buttons so i just decided to add buttons to beautify the cow kaftan so i believe you learned a lot from this class so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe and turn on your notification bell don't forget to share and like this video